Guys, I do apologize, there hasn't been really any content, really any updates. It's been go, 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 go ever since I started moving on May 2nd. Um, the other times that I've moved in the past, it's only been like a carload of just like my computer, my chair, and that's about it. So it was really easy to get set up. But this is like my first big boy move, so a lot of things had to be done, like all the bills, all the... Uh, mortgage papers, all this, getting blind, you know, just it's non-stop for like, well, until today to where I now have the time to concentrate on other things that I enjoy than, you know, doing what has to be done to get the house in order. But yeah, it was a lot to do. And so uh, with today's video, what we're going to be doing is, well, let's say three things. One, to tell you that it's go time again, you know, we're, we're, we're ready to get back in the saddle and make some awesome content for you guys. That's me and Dakota who are going to do that. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see her. Hopefully my mic or hopefully my hands are not over the microphones. Um, two, we're going to do a little house tour. Three, I'm going to tell you about Dakota. And this fourth one just popped up. Um, I'm going to be streaming right now. Once you see this video, you click in the, 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 the description below and you can watch a live stream or you can continue watching this video and then join the live stream after. But we're going to be live all day or until Laura comes home and tells me to get off, get off the computer. Um, but the good thing is my new office, it has a lock on it. So this, this stream's gonna last for a long time. But all right, so um, let's go ahead and start off with Dakota. Hi Dakota, we're gonna tell a story about you today. There we go, perfect shot for this story. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to keep it kind of brief, but hopefully my hands are not on the microphones, hopefully. I really gotta learn where they are. I'm sure they're right here. So Dakota, so me and Laura were out driving one day to go get something from a store and this dog jets across the road and it was, she was nowhere near that we had to swerve and avoid it, but it was weird and she was running around the place we were at like she didn't know what she was doing, she didn't know the environment. She was going from porch to porch, building to building, trying to sniff out, I guess, food or something. And uh, Laura yelled at me in a nice way, she says, turn this car around and we did. We passed her once and it looked like she went on a porch and she was sitting down on and it looked like she had a collar as well. But then we did a U-turn to come out of that subdivision and she was jetting across the highway. And this time she was getting pretty close to cars and dodging cars as best as she could. And then as we got even closer to her, I could see that she didn't have a collar. She had a collar indention where a collar could have been. Oh my God, you are just the luckiest son of a bitch in the world right now. Not a worry, not a worry, just sitting here. Anyway, so uh, she had a collar and dent, but no collar. And then, so there was this tennis court right of the highway that we pulled into where she went to. I opened the door, she rolled over on her stomach like she was being really submissive, like she thought that I would hurt her. Or just a natural, oh my gosh, what is this two-legged thing walking at me? I'm gonna make sure I don't look aggressive at all so it won't hurt me. But pretty much she laid right over. I opened my uh, car door, my, my minivan door, and she hopped right in, sat on the passenger seat and said, let's go. And uh, I think uh, Laura has a photograph that I'll link in the comment section below. I don't think I have it right now, unfortunately. Maybe I do, I'll try to find it. But the dog smelled like crap. She was, oh, she was hot, like overheating. Like she was dehydrated, she had, um, she had some patchiness on her uh, skin where the, or she had no hair in certain locations. So she was not in like super rough state, but uh, she was going to be there soon. And her poop was, well, yeah, let's just leave it at that. But so we brought her to the vet and she, we tried to get her microchipped. No microchip. And then the vet people were like joking. Haha, you found a new animal. We're like, oh, no, no, we have, we, you know, we're, we're fine. And then so Laura makes flyers, puts them around the town, and no one bites, no one calls, and you know, with the way this dog acts around me and you know, just some uh, mannerisms that she has, she's pretty skittish, is that um, 
I, she was abused for sure. So Laura got her into a rescue and we were taking her to like um, rescue events where people would come in and look at the dog and such. And uh, this, this has been a long foster at this point, the, what we call it, to where it was like a five month ordeal living with this dog. And after that time, you know, Dakota started to become really fond of Bandit, Bandit like Dakota. So they were getting along. She, she's, pretty she's pretty much like my first dog um, that follows me around, waits by my side while I'm working, will wait in the bed until I'm awake. Um, to ask for food or want to go out. So it, it really, me and her connected really, really well. And uh, so we got her into that rescue and somebody nibbled on her, like somebody wanted her. And so after that event, because I had to work and Laura took her to the event, Laura started breaking down crying. Um, just because the thought of Dakota being gone now, because we never thought, I don't know, we didn't expect the foster to be this long. We didn't expect the dog to connect with us so well. And you know, Dakota's just starting to get into a rhythm here and to be uprooted from her place right here to a new family would be um, a big change for her and we kind of felt that. And we were looking at this new place that we're at now that has a huge backyard for her to run around and go crazy in. Well, long story short, Laura started breaking down crying and we called the rescue. We're like, we can't give her up, we can't. And at this point, the people who were gonna adopt her already put the papers in and such. We're like, what can we do, what can we do? And the lady at the rescue was like, well, you're gonna have to call and figure it out yourself. So Laura had to give these two people a call that sure, okay, I'll, I'll try to be unbiased as possible. It was, it was messed up what we did. We, you know, that sucks to find an animal that you like at an adoption event and then have the foster parents call and be like, this is pretty much what Laura said. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do this. I don't know how, um, she pretty much spilled her heart to the family who wanted it. You know, granted they were our age and still, but uh, it wasn't the right thing to do, but we asked we weren't gonna be like, we're gonna steal this dog. Well, I might have. But we asked him and told him what what our story was and uh, they said it's fine, no problem. And so we helped him out with, uh, we got him a gift card to PetSmart uh, to help him with their new dog and stuff. But it was not the right thing to do, you know. Once we signed those papers over to, hey, this, you know, this dog's up for adoption, you know, we I'm getting a little choked up by it right now. Cause just the thought of Dakota not being here like sucks. And sometimes the wrong thing is the right thing for your heart. And it was bad. And uh, every day I look at Laura, I'm like, you're the fucking shit because she was the one that called. But yeah, now she's our dog and she's being a very good girl. Dakota, come here. See, now she's getting complicit. She's like, yes, this is how things are. But so what we're going to do is that we're going to take her outside. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. Walk. Dakota, you want to go on a walk? Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, who's that? That's Bandit. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to show you a little quick tour of the house. Um, so this is my office. And we'll start here. The man cave, the fly cave, the room slash cave to get stuff done in. This is my favorite room in the house so far. And I think it won't change. The main reason why I probably purchased this house is because of this room. And not only is this room nice and spacious, but it has a wonderful audio quality about it. Because as you walk in, the sound just gets muffled down. There's not too many echoes. And it's very easy to concentrate. And Dakota's back on the couch. Over here is a wet bar. At least that's what, the, at least that's what they told me. Uh, the good thing already is that I've gotten a mini fridge for it, so no keg has been installed yet, but that could change in the future. That would be honestly ridiculous. Over here is just like a TV setup where I'll have the PS4, Rock Band, GameCube, just like a little game center over there. Oh, I got a text message. Let's see who's it from. Oh, emails. Don't check emails. Emails stress me out. And over here is the, the workbench. We have my desk, microphone, computer screen, headphones. Yeah, my computer uh, got a little damaged in the move, uh, but all I had to do was just a, um, I need to plug in a wire. This, this sheared off 
and the power buttons down there. So everything still works with that, thank gosh. We have a little thing right here where I can put my little models and things that I've acquired. I wanna put like a shelving up on both of these sides so I can display all the things that you guys have sent me in the mail in the, in the past, such as like this mouse model, uh, a Yag Tiger, a Comet, Right here, no, this, this is this is a tiger actually. Where's the comet at? Uh, is, this, is this the Carl? That huge howitzer? Because I would love to have those things on the uh, shelf right here. So this is the office. And Dakota is still just enjoying her sweet ass time. And guys, I, I do apologize about this house being nice and dirty. Uh, but here is the... the <laughs> What's up Bandit? How's it going buddy? This is the master. There's Baba. Hi Baba. You been sweet thing? He's so pretty. He's so pretty. Uh, it's a little Arasaka bathroom. Let's let it get it focused. There we go. That's where I don't shower, take a bath because I'm a YouTuber. We don't really keep up with ourselves too well. And as we walk out, here is the the greeting room. I guess you would call it. And this is uh, my, this is going to be my pray to R and Jesus room. I'm going to get a rug there, a custom stitch with R and Jesus. Remove this couch, and so every day before I play War Thunder or any type of R and G games, we'll uh, we'll have to pray to that. There's some empty beer bottles in there. Don't mind that. Here is the guest room. My sister and her boyfriend came down recently and stayed in there. That's why it's so dirty. I can't believe they didn't clean up after themselves, and I hope they watch this video because of it. All right, as we head downstairs, we got the dining room, which is pretty darn cool in my opinion. And uh, here is the living room. We're getting our, our, our couch being delivered on Thursday. Here is the kitchen. Still got to clean up a bunch of this stuff. And then probably the best part about this house other than the office is the backyard. <laughs> Massive backyard for Dakota and the dogs. We got the pantry. This is Baba's uh, cat room where she'll go poop and pee at and stuff. Laundry room more outside and back into the dining room. But the backyard is big enough that I had to invest in one of these bad boys. And all I can think about while I ride it is foosball's the devil. <laughs> Yo guys, in the comments below, let me know if we should do some um, lawnmower streams on creative, you know? I think that would be pretty cool. But let me know though. We're gonna start her up though, just for a second to show her uh, the horsepower it has. I don't know how much horsepower it has, probably about 4,000, uh, but don't you do that, Baba. Look at Piper. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Go back inside. 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 Go inside. Good girl. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start her up right here. Don't do this at home. We got no, uh, it's not a good idea to ride a lawnmower with uh, no shoes, but the blade is disengaged. It's in, it's in park. We're just gonna fire this puppy up. Get the key. It's fun, it's real fun. But all right, so that's pretty much the house. It's coming together. Am I still recording? Hey, yeah, we are. Uh, but we got a lot more work to do. So the bad thing about this fence right now that we have in the back is that um, there's, some, there's some holes in it. There's some pretty big dips. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to watch Dakota because she has escaped about three times from them. We're getting them repaired or at least fenced in more, uh, but we're gonna have to watch her. You guys wanna go for a walk? Yeah? You guys wanna go for a walk? <laughs> go get it. All right, found the Frisbees. Ben is not much of a player. Dakota will chase after these things all day long. You ready, set, go. Oh, she's ready for it. All right, here we go. We're gonna take out this one. Hopefully I don't drop my camera on this. Ready, set. <sighs> Bring it back. 
And so she won't come back to me right away. She'll just do victory laps. You watch. And bye bye. As he bands just smelling, doing his thing. Hey, come here. Don't you dare try to escape, girl. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Oh, she's looking to. Dakota, come here. Don't you do that. Hurry, Joy. Yeah, so an awesome backyard for the dogs. All I gotta do is just get the fence repaired. I'll show you where, where I'm talking about. Or she'll try to get under. See that? Yes, yeah, that's not good. Come on, let's go back. Don't you, don't you do that? Don't you do that? No, no. No, no. Go get it! <laughs> Come on. Let's go inside. Good girl. Come on. Before I go, you guys should see how messy Dakota is. Get some water. Good girl. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm back, live streaming right now, and back to daily videos. Guys, hope to see you there.